Hey guys, how you doing? I uh, just, just uh, thought I'd make a really quick video, um, answer some questions that uh, have come up from you guys as far as my 90 mil setup goes on uh, on my EDF. So I just thought I'd make a quick video and answer those questions. So, anyways, um, the uh, motor and fan that I uh, I use is the FMS 4075 KV um, uh, combination, and um, this thing is supposed to be run on 8s which i have done um and it's nice runs great and everything but i just i like more power i like more speed um quite frankly if i can't rip the paint off of the foam or off of the balsa or off of the fiberglass when i'm flying it it needs to go faster i'm kidding anyways um so uh i like a bit more power is what i'm trying to say so i run this on 9s and 10s i do run it on 8s as i said um, but, um, you guys have asked, you know, what's the setup, how, what it looks like and so on. So I'm just going to go through it, uh, component by component. So you understand what it is I'm doing. Um, okay. So first of all, let me <laughs> move my drink. So I do not pull that into the fan. By the way, if you've never tried amaretto and mango juice, you should. It tastes damn good. Mm. Oh yeah, that's yummy. All right, next. So, uh, for ESC, I always run a Castle 160, um, and the uh, reason why I like to run this is because I can also pull a data log on it and see exactly what the temperatures, um, the amp draw is, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, more information is better than less information. Um, I also usually run an amp sensor, which is the uh, white thing that you see right here. Um, and that is uh, an FR Sky amp sensor. I run the FR Sky system. And in terms of batteries, I usually run um, Yo Power or Yo Woo, whatever, um, 100C graphene packs. These ones are 5000s. Um, first test we're going to do is on 9S. Second test we'll do is going to be on 10S. So these are the packs, um, and I know you guys are going to ask me where I buy them, so I get them off of eBay. I believe you can get them on the HRB uh, store on eBay, okay? Um, upside, downside with these packs. Upside is uh, it puts out a lot of power. Downside is it puts out a lot of power. <laughs> so uh, your amp draw is going to be increased because of um, the power that it puts out. But if what you're looking for is speed, it'll definitely deliver. Uh, the other downside is um, it's got metal plates all the way around, so you're going to pay a bit of a weight penalty. However, um, I have had, uh, regrettably, uh, experience with uh, putting my F-16 right into the ground at full throttle. Uh, I think my battery is probably buried up to about here uh, in the dirt. And there was nothing wrong with them. Uh, tested them, went through them inside and out, um, monitored the resistance, everything rock solid. Um, good batteries, um, reasonably placed price too, um, for the most part. Next, uh, I usually run a Castle Pro Beck um, uh, because this is an Opto ESC. Um, so I run the Castle Pro Beck uh, in separation of that. And that's really about it. In terms of timing, uh, I use low timing. Um, I can't remember what the PWM frequency is. And I also, believe it or not, actually put a brake on this um, because as you'll see on some of my videos, I use reverse thrust to slow down some of my jets for short field situations. And um, one of the nice things about the FMS um, design um, is it's actually really efficient when you use reverse thrust. Um, so that's really cool, uh, uh, a cool thing about these ESCs as well, because it's got a separate auxiliary cable that you can use to do reverse thrust, um, right out of the box. No programming, special programming needed other than the programming that you would do with your, uh, castle link connection. Um, the other nice thing about this is that because it is a metal fan or metal shroud, I should say, it almost acts as a heat sink. Uh, so it helps to dissipate some of the heat that the motor generates, um, which is also a really nice thing. The other thing, too, is that on both 9 and 10 S, um, this thing doesn't get really hot at all um, as well, relative to how hot it gets on 8 S. Okay, so 
There's um, sort of our preamble. I'll just turn on the thrust stand. So I apologize because it's kind of hard to do this stuff one-handed and film at the same time. So there we go. Thrust stand is on. Um, I've done a little bit of a run-up on these packs already. So um, they're not at 4.2. They're probably about 4 volts uh, per cell, give or take. So well, let's see what we get. Okay, so we've got 5.5 um, kilos of thrust, and uh, we'll take a look at what we get from an amp draw standpoint. Okay. Okay, so you saw what the amp draw was. I think it was about 120, or yeah, I think it was around 120, some, something like that. Um, on the 9S setup. Let's just do that again, just to be sure. Yeah, so about 120 is what we got uh, at peak. Okay, now we're gonna just change this out. So just bear with me one second, guys. I'm just gonna put this down for a sec. And we're gonna change these out. And we're going to make it 10S as opposed to 9S. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. All right. So we're back and we've got the uh, 10S set up now. So we'll just move that out of there. And for 10S, same 6S pack and the uh, 4S pack. Uh, they're both 5000s, again, uh, 100C. Uh, bear in mind that this 6S is going to have a little bit less voltage than the 4S because we've run it um, on the uh, 9S uh, uh, setup previously. So let's turn this on. All right. And we'll see what we get. I think we probably get about 6.2 kilos, somewhere there. <laughs> Okay, so 6.4 kilos is what we got, and let's see what the amp draw was. Alright, so we've got about 100 and, what was that, I think it was about 140, something like that. Let's double check that again. Okay, so there you have it. 6.4 kilos of thrust and about 140 amps is what we got on 10S. Now, in terms of the heat on the motor, as you can see I'm holding it. It's not hot at all. So, now I've had this set up on, I don't know, four or five 90 mil jets that I have. Um, and probably have over 100 flights. Uh, it's never failed, never given me any issues whatsoever. So um, you actually do get more than what you pay for. Um, you can run it on 9S, 8S, 9S, 10S. Um, and at 6.4 kilos of thrust, you're kind of really hard pressed to do much better than that um, in the 90 mil space, especially at the price point that uh, you can buy this thing for. So um, there you have it. Hopefully it answers most of the questions that you guys had. And... Um, Happy flying. Cheers.